All right, all right. We black again. We black again. Bringing nothing but the smoke. We ain't doing, we bringing nothing but the smoke. Family, y'all already know, this Sunday, November the 13th, who are the real Jews? The General Sarah Sun Seti, the presentation to end all debates, bringing all receipts, bringing all receipts. We don't need racism when we got the truth. Truth is greater than all of that. And when you got truth on your side, you don't need nothing else. That's all you need is the truth. You see, so family, make sure you hit that link right there in the video description. Wait a minute, matter of fact, let me throw it on in there. Let me throw it on in there and make sure you be in the house. You got to be in the house. Let me let me get the uh, link in here. All right. Let me get the link. That's right, come on in. Watch the general go to work. You feel me? Watch me go to work. Right there, there the link. There the link. Let me make sure. Matter of fact, let me put it at the top. Because I'm I'm gonna show you, Sunday. I want to do that. I got I got nothing, I got nothing but the truth. Let me put it in here for y'all. That's right. We, you know, we we being crucified for shit. Motherfuckers ain't even explain. Hold on, family. Yeah, I'm about to get the smoke. Let me put this in here. Starting at two thirty. Have your ass in class because it's going to get, it's going to be on that level. Eastern. Make sure y'all understand that. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So there it is. And also 15% off kingsetty.com. Make sure y'all, you know, get over there. We got everything you need. DVDs, T-shirts, hoodies, jewelry, holistic tonics, remedies, home decor, kingseti.com, a class in session, generalseti.com, SETI University, over a thousand videos, family, you cannot beat it at all, revolutionary thought, at its greatest, for real, too raw for you to, SETI with the master teaches so much, you know, the highlights, I, don't, I can't go over it because I want to get straight to the smoke patreon family going live tomorrow with a very powerful powerful lecture i know i couldn't even try to do on uh on uh youtube you see exclusive live stream too hot to handle you just did the astro uh occult origins of the of the war in heaven but tomorrow the kardashian crypto jewish background the occult matrix of yay you got to understand man they we are surrounded we are surrounded. I'm going to back it up. And they know it. I'm going to back it up with all the receipts. You understand what I'm saying? So make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. King Seti, uh, General Seti, Sarasun Seti. Rock that notification bell. Get a video, a thumbs up. Like it because you love it. Share it with your family and friends. And comment. Comment, comment, comment. Just be respectful, family. Because I will. Bam. Yo, ass. I will, family, and I don't want to do it. So don't you make me. Don't you make me. All right, family, let's get black, you know, to this, you know, because, wait a minute. Matter of fact, now I got to find the one where, oh, my God, I done flipped out without even turning it off. That's all right. That's all right. Okay. Where's that one where I got all the... Uh, Man, I, I wonder, and I'm thinking to myself, what is, you know, come on, LeBron. You know what I'm saying? What is you talking about? What, what, why your gums moving? You see, you gummy bear now, nigga. You running off at your gums. You see what I'm saying? Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, which one of them? Okay, it's saying... Okay, is it right there? Let me see. 
right here. I knew it was going to pop right on up. Thank you, ancestors. And you know what? You know, I don't, <laughs> I don't keep up with these cats like that. I say, man, when I seen Amari starting by, I say, oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, my God, man. Listen here. Uh, you know I had to come with that fire. You know, I had to come with them fire uh, thumbnails, man. I couldn't, I couldn't let, you know, I didn't know. I couldn't believe it. I didn't, I wasn't keeping up with old. You know, they're just like, oh, uh, what's his name? The uh, rapper that went over there. Uh, shine. You know what I'm saying? Oh, shine. You know, he over there. You know what I'm saying? And not, I didn't know old Amari went over there and did that. What wrong with Amari, man? Let me get this in here, man. <laughs> Oh my God! Hey, hey, let me get on Amari. Here go Amari, y'all. Oh, Amari started my. Now, y'all, if y'all don't know, a lot of y'all might not even know Amari started my. You know, he's a basketball player. He uh, he played with Phoenix. I understand what I'm saying? Let me see. There you go. There you go. Let me see if I can get him when he played ball. So, you know, it, it, it can make sense. You know what I'm saying? So you see, let me see if I can drop that on in there. Let me see if I can drop that on in there. Yeah. Yeah, old Mari. You understand what I'm saying? Come on, Mari. And then you're going to open up your mouth on, 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 on Kyrie. Say the man, look. He looking for himself and, you know, and all this, that, and the third. Nig nigga, you looking for yourself. And you you sure the hell ain't found yourself. You see what I'm saying? You in a state of, uh, of delusion. You see what I'm saying? You in a serious state of, of delusion. Okay, and so here he is. And, I, you know, I, I watched a little, uh, you know, little uh, clip. Well, Stoudemire, he talked about, you know, where his, you know, his, if it was, it was it his mama or, or she, he said through his mama, he was, she was connected to the Hebrew Israelites. Well, again, nigga, well, you know, I mean, well, how did you end over there? But in Israel, that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, where, what happened? You understand what I'm saying? Because I, I mean, I, I, I understand that, you know, they both, you know, but they, they, this is a two different groups. I would like to believe, uh, you know, the Hebrew Israelites, you know, is, a, you know, you know, you think they black until you look at that 12, <laughs> that 12 tribe chart where they got, got their, <laughs> Y'all some silly niggas, man. I didn't know that. Y'all, y'all, y'all defeated, man. There ain't no way you gonna get away with that. You not gonna disrespect my African ancestors, nigga. Hey, you know, ancient Egypt, Nubia. I know the story. You can run that shit on somebody else. And I, you know what? And I just gonna start, man, because I, I, <laughs> I got to deal with this, man, because, you know, they say, and I seen this other cat. I'm, gonna, I'm I ain't gonna even throw his name out there. He one of them Hebrew Israelite, and they quick to say that the Hispanics and the Latinos are Israelites. And I say, well, goddamn Hispanics. I mean, that mean you come from Spain and shit, man. What the fuck? You ain't got no ancient lineage. You ain't even got no Latino, Latin, nigga. That come out of Rome, nigga. Latin, Latino, you know, that's Roman. That, that come out of Rome. That ain't got nothing to do. I've never, even in the Bible, have I ever seen anybody speak Spanish or uh, 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 goddamn uh, Latino or none of that. I don't see that. I don't understand. You don't even have the Romans and shit come into that area into Alexander the Great into around, you know, 300, you know, 300 some uh, BC. 
So they vary, you know, that's just a recent, recent date. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have no Caucasoid presence, even in what you call the Middle East until around, you know, 300 and some odd, you know, 330, 322, 332 BC. That's when you get, uh, you, you get the entrance of the European into what you call the Middle East or what you, today you call Arabia. You see what I'm saying? Which is Northeast Africa always was, always will be. You see what I'm saying? So there's no way you going to, you see. And so if they came from ships, I'm talking about Hispanics. and Where the fuck did they come from? Because they didn't come up from over there. I've never seen a Hispanic say his, the land of his origin was in the Middle East. I don't understand. So how in the fuck is they goddamn Israelites? I just don't understand that. But the Hermetic, who who is the Egyptians, the Ethiopians, and the Canaanite, they don't have no place at the table. You understand? Even though they intertwine with the with the the the, uh, the Israelites from the beginning to the end of the book, they ain't got no place. And then y'all offer a place to motherfuckers that ain't even got no genetic origin, history, or nothing to this area of the world. That's a bunch of bullshit. I don't give a fuck what they talking about. That's a bunch of bullshit. Y'all got that shit from the Mormons. You understand? When I was looking at that shit, I say, man. The Hebrew Israelites got that shit from the Mormons. They're another group that say Jesus showed up in North America and, and, and after uh, Jesus supposedly was crucified, he showed up in, a, uh, in America. And you understand what I'm saying? I guess he, he blessed the Indian over here or something. And they be having pictures and shit. Well, matter of fact, let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all. I, I, I don't have no problem. I don't make shit up. I just drop it like it's hot. Warm. Indians with Jesus. And if you read the story, they talking about some, some Israelites came from the Middle East all the way over here to America and they found it, you know what I'm saying, a couple of groups and shit. I say, well, what the fuck? That shit damn near similar to what the hell the goddamn Hebrew Israelites is talking about. You understand what I'm saying? They they least cousins and they crazy ass philosophy. Matter of fact, here go a picture. Here go a picture. Here go a picture. I want a good one too. I don't want no. And they got Joseph Smith over here trying to teach the Indians. Here you go. Here go a good one. Let me see if I can. But that don't show us. face. here, this the one show his face. Now look at this shit. I want to show this, man. I ain't got no time to play. And then I'm going to get back on old LeBron because I don't want to go too far from that. Okay, let me. They don't want me to get that one. Let me see if I can get this one. These, these, but damn, they, they make them, they, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and they make them look damn, they, you know, they make them look so white. They don't, they don't even look like the red man. You see what I'm saying? I don't even know what they, they supposed to be. Let me get to, hold on, fam. I think this one might go in. Let me see. You know, they want there go. All right. And so here it is, Jesus come back. You can see the supposedly, <laughs> the, the Mayan pyramids in the back. You see what I'm saying? So he's over here a ministering. You understand what I'm saying to uh, these Indians over here? And so, you know, it was two, two different uh, tribes that came over. You see what I'm saying? They supposed to be in Israelites and this. And so I say, well, damn, y'all, y'all might as well team up with the Mormons. You see what I'm saying? Y'all might as well team up with the Mormons because y'all very similar 
and some of the shit that y'all talking about because it's crazy as hell that they they don't have no and i i even look and they had ephraim i say man they had ephraim and he was the what was ephraim who was ephraim in the 12 let me let me get this shit together man and then i'm gonna go on right down i got to do this man i got to i cannot let this shit go no way i can't do it uh-uh where is that damn let me get who they say ephraim is and that right there i say man that and ephraim mama was from you know was from uh egypt i say what well, but but they don't want to let the african in you see what i'm saying they ain't got no place for the african you understand the hermetic and then y'all give you but that just show you what type of weak niggas y'all is you understand anybody that let them get away with i ain't gonna never let them get away with it and they cannot be they think they can but they know that they cannot beat me they can't wait a minute uh 12 12 tribes Charles. let me see who they got on there this is some crazy shit. will anybody believe that you take your ass straight to the crazy house and just let them know I I, I ain't get my medicine today. <laughs> I I need some medicine because I'm crazy. <laughs> oh shit! You know anybody believe this shit? Uh, Judah, aka the Negroes. Okay, they even took the word from Bloom and Bach out the damn white man dictionary. <laughs> I say, man, listen here, man. I've been studying this shit a long time, man. They took a European definition where it says, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> Let me put this shit in here, man. This this is unreal. Y'all is a joke. <laughs> I couldn't take y'all serious for shit. Let me see if I can put it in here. I'll put this one in here. Drop it on in. Okay. <laughs> the Negroes. You know, they can't say they African and shit, so they go use the derogatory term. <laughs> a African American Negro. Then Benjamin, the Je Benjamin is uh Jamaicans, West Indians, Trinidadians. Uh Levi the Haitian. Reuben, uh, Seminole Indians, uh, Aboriginals of Australia. God damn, how the hell they get stretched out like that? That's a long distance, man. They spread them. <laughs> Australia, man, that's a long motherfucking way for it. They are from the same tribe. God damn. <laughs> they split them motherfuckers up. <laughs> Damn, that's over three three thousand miles. <laughs> Is a car the Mexican? Nap nap to lay. You know the Hawaiians, the Samoans, and uh, the the uh, Manasseh. Okay, the Cubans. <laughs> Here, mama, uh, African woman from from Egypt. Here, mama and man and say, but they put it on the Cuban. Zebulon, okay. Uh, Colombians, uh, man, look here. <laughs> Simon, the Dominicans. Asher, uh, the Brazilians and Venezuelans and Ephraim. Mama is a hermetic woman. You see, and you understand, and he, as a matter of fact, in the bible just to show you they lied you understand what i'm saying now you read that shit wait a minute hold up you read that wait a minute wait a minute hold on where is that at where is the let me make sure i got my my smoke what did you let me what it say it is right here okay good good right here so this let me let me see if i got the ones on ishmael 
they say, oh, here is man, stop playing with me, man. Let me stop. Let's stop that, man. Y'all, here it is, right here. Here it is. Let me go and drop this one over here. Okay. Just as you know, we're going to check that right there. Now, you see right there, say Ephraim, he got Puerto Rican. But when you go over here, this is Genesis. This coming out the Torah, 2120, 21, and talking about uh, Ishmael. Say he lived in the wilderness of Paran, which is right outside of Egypt. And his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. His mother was from Egypt, and she took a wife for Ishmael from the land of Egypt. Okay? And so these niggas up here, this is this, now this is Ephraim. Okay? This is Ephraim. And then the, Eph, the Ishmaelites were synonymous with the Mendenites. You see? So they, they you know, you know, they were interchangeable, you see? So, it, and because the Mendonites were Cushites. This is was the tribe of Zipporah. You see, they were many, but they were Cushites. And I got the references. I got the biblical uh, uh, dictionaries and that back that up. They know that. You see what I'm saying? So because, you know, the Mendonites was Cushites and uh, uh, God punished Moses' daughter, Miriam, for, for you know, talking down on the woman. She, he cursed her ass with leprosy. You see what I'm saying? Because she was a Cushite woman. You see what I'm saying? From the land of Midian, her father was Zipporah, the high priest of the land of Midian. Okay? And so the Ishmaelites were interchangeable with the Mendonites, which means that they were Cushites too. He took his, he took, uh, his, his mother took a wife for him from the land of Egypt. They ain't said shit about no damn Puerto Rico or none of that shit. You see what I'm saying? That's a bunch of bullshit, period. This was a, a black bloodline. We know it's mythological, but it's a black bloodline. Ain't got nothing to do with no damn Puerto Ricans. Stop that. Y'all got to stop lying, period. You understand what I'm saying? That shit almost like that damn Madame, Bl Madame Blavatsky shit, man. Or that root race shit. We got, to, we got to watch out, family. You don't know where this shit could be coming from. So we had to be careful. And so we see, uh, we see old Stoudemire now. He done went to Israel. And he done spoke down on uh, Kyrie. He done spoke down on Kyrie. Let me make sure. Hold on. He done spoke down on Kyrie. He's over there now. He didn't got his uh his citizenship. You see, he didn't had to go to court to get. You know what I'm saying? So now he's a citizen of, of, of Israel. He's over there blowing the ram horn. <laughs> I mean, man, I just say, man, goddamn, you know, and they look at him, you know, he got his little hat on. I think he didn't open him a school up over there. You understand what I'm saying? He didn't open, he didn't open him a school up over there. Now, so you see what, you know, and I don't think, you know, you know, and we, you know, do they know what's in the towel move? See, they, see, the thing is, a lot of times, see, they, with that towel move, you got to watch. You got to watch. Because they'll get that revised edition. You understand what I'm saying? Don't let them get the revised edition. Don't you let them do it. That's why if y'all out there, you know what I'm saying, and you see what's going on right now, it's time, and they're going to know it. And they're going to know it. And they're going to know it, but they can't stop it. Because it's a lot of information out there. It's time for you to search. It's time for you to take a couple of dollars out your pocket and get you one. I don't want to be because they might block it. They might take it off of shit. You see what I'm saying? And so when you have, when you're ready to have a real discussion, you got to have you a nice one. You got to have you one of them towel moves and the Torah. You get one from, you know, out of that, you know, and get you one from back 
back in the day. Don't get you one of them new ones. Get you one from back in the day when it ain't no controversy. They don't get you one that's a, a, a nice one where, you know, made strictly for them. You know what I'm saying? It's in English or so on and so forth. Got by, you know, got the two scripts, got the Hebrew, the so-called Hebrew and the English. And, and then we then we can have some studies. You see what I'm saying? Then we can have some real studies on what's in that book and what they say. Of, so and it ain't even and not only what they say about black people. I don't care about nobody else, but what they speak about Gentiles in general, which they call Goyim. You see what I'm saying? That's a anything that's non uh, non Jewish. You see, they call Goyim. You see, and so you know when you go in there, have that, and don't let them wiggle out of it. You understand what I'm saying? Do not let them wiggle out of it because if you got it. I went online and, uh, you know, where the uh, brother who was a pastor, he had put the uh, he had put the uh, the uh, references up there. And I actually was able to go online and I found uh, I found uh, an online Talmud. And I say, let me look here. You know, let me look his references up. And I went straight to it. It was it was true. It, what he said was the truth. It was there. You see, and so you know, you know, sometimes you be wondering, like, is it really? And it was in there, and it said that Cushy was, you know, was the Negro. You understand? It had Negro in there. So anytime I know they got Negro, I know that that's some, some, you know, some shit that they implanted is, is they can't say it was there from long time ago. They just put that in there. Because when you do the references, you're going to know that from a, 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 etym, a etymological uh, root that it was it just come out of the Spanish and Portuguese language and that that was some shit that was inserted. It would have been impossible for them to have been using that word in a 2000, you know. So what was they before they was the Negro? Who were those people that you call a Negro? Because they was not Negroes then. You see what I'm saying? So with, who were those people? And you're going to find out that it was, you know, it was the Africans. You understand that they're trying to say it's not you. You the Egyptian, you the, you the Kushite, you, you the, uh, you was, you know, the so-called Canaanite, all of that is you. Even Nimrod, they tell on themselves, they say Nimrod, the son of Cush, is the one that founded Mesopotamia. You understand? So in all the Bible, all the Old Testament is really the Africans that established civilization. There's no doubt about it. There's no doubt about it. And so they want to they hide that, that truth. And so now I goes in here. And I'm thinking to myself, LeBron, what the hell is going on with you? And so you see LeBron in here. Now, I have to clarify that I, you know, this, the the uh, the title say crooked rabbi. Well, the rabbi did some time. The rabbi did some time. He was caught swindling. He uh, they was bribed. He bribed. He tried to bribe uh, 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 an Israelite police officer or something. You understand what I'm saying? And uh. Because I, you know, they I had to get off, you know, into the story. I just peeked into it, but they were, uh, you know, uh, what they call money laundering. Him and some politicians. I'm not sure if they was United States or Israel, like uh, Israeli uh, politician. But one of the politicians end up doing some time on uh, uh, tax evasion, and the old rabbi right here did some time too. He did a year. So when I say crooked, it's backed up. He was crooked. He did time. You see what I'm saying? And so LeBron, for some reason, has made this ride by his guru. Okay? And you can look at, you know, and you see, the, I guess he praying on LeBron. LeBron look like he got a damn demon in his <laughs> It looked like he, he's a, not only is it right, he's a Kabbalist. And I say, oh man, LeBron, this man didn't turn you into the, uh, uh, what's that, the Gollum. 
You understand what I'm saying? You was a golem, nigga. You... <laughs> he didn't possess your ass, nigga. You... <laughs> then, you know, didn't possess the old LeBron. Look at the nigga eyes, man. He's like, man, what is... You know what I'm saying? What's going on with me? You know, that's really what he looked like. But this is his spiritual teacher, his spiritual guru, right? You know what I'm saying? And so you see him right here. He didn't went to some wedding, and, you know, and he hugged. <laughs> this motherfucker look like Ben Obi-Wan Kenobi. You see what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> what the fuck? You know, you might as well. I, I'm waiting on him to pull out a lightsaber and shit, nigga. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? He looked like a, uh, what they call him, the Jedi Master. <laughs> and so this is, and so now I see why LeBron said what he said about Kyrie. Man, how you gonna do your mans like that, man? You know, all you had to do was say, I know Kyrie. I know the brother, man. I know he didn't mean it like that. But you know what I'm saying? And even if you had to play a card where you say, well, he, you know, you know, you know, y'all ain't going to stand because they're going to knock your ass down too. And he, I, I could have respected you if you just said, well, I, you know, he got to apologize. But you know what I'm saying? I know it's hard and I know he wouldn't have, you know, he wouldn't have intentionally did that. You know, I know it's hard, and I know he's not no racist like that. You know what I'm saying? He made a mistake, you know, and he's, you know, he, and he's hard. You know, he's a very, uh, you know, you know, you know, I ain't, I don't want to say stubborn. You know what I'm saying? He, but even then, you can say, oh, he's, he's stubborn, but he's not a racist. I know it's hard. You could at least back him up that way. But to throw him up under the bus and, and you know, and, you got old uh, Jester uh, shagging big watermelon head, Charles Barkley and shit. Throw the boy up on, I ain't mean the boy, the brother up under the bus. You see what I'm saying? Now I see why. I see why. And I, and I still say that, you know, uh, Adam Silver should have recused himself because by him being Jewish, he should not have been in a predicament or a position to cast judgment on it because you that's you know that's a conflict of interest because you jewish i mean goddamn y'all won't putting you know yeah if y'all do some shit to us i doubt very seriously if a white if some white police officers do something to us that you gonna choose an all black jury and let us judge you for what you did to us i just i know you would not do that so he should have recused himself because that is a conflict of interest. It is. You see what I'm saying? It is a kind. And like I say, you you know, and everybody is also bringing up the fact that they selling it on Amazon. They is selling. I went on there and they selling it on on Amazon, and they probably gonna knock the brother off of there soon if, for the simple fact. And you know, and people didn't mention that Amazon is owned by Jews. They don't see no problem. See, when they making money, they don't give a damn. If they can make a dollar up off of it, that just shows you. They do not give a damn. So it's on there, and ain't nobody stepped to old Bezo or none of them. Nobody, ain't nobody stepped to, uh, to Shaq. I ain't heard nothing about that. You see what I'm saying? But y'all want to get on top of this brother about this book, about this movie. You see what I'm saying? And, and y'all won't, you know, take responsibility for the shit that's in the town move. If y'all do not start having town muted class, I don't need none of you Hebrew niggas to talk about y'all reading the town move. Y'all know that that's that Ashkenazi Jew book, and you ain't got no reason to have your ass in it. You see, acting like it come out of Africa or that it was even the book that came up out of the uh, 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 that supposedly came from up out of the Middle East or Africa. They got, that's strictly some European literature, period. You see what I'm saying? To offset everything that was said in the Bible. You see, and so you see right here, you see uh, LeBron with the, uh, you know, with the criminal rabbi who was, who was, 
who was convicted, he was convicted of, 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 of bribery. He was convicted. He was convicted. And so you see, uh, you know, and you see him here. It, it, Lord have mercy. I, I mean, what you going to say? It, it looked like them the only two niggas in the room. <laughs> If another nigga try to come in there, God damn it, they're going to give him 25 years to life. You know what I'm saying? Don't, 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 don't even come. They ain't going to even open the door. You understand what I'm saying? They won't even let him on the steps. You see? You know, and so he he managed to get up in there because he's dropping them dollars in there. You see what I'm saying? Letting that Kabbalist who ain't nothing, you know, they practice demonology too. You understand what I'm saying? I, you can ask any Kabbalist. You ask them. Ask them, do they conjure demons? And they'll tell you that they conjure demons. Okay, let it be known. They conjure demons. I, I, you know, I looked at, I know, listen to me, y'all. Let me tell you, and I'm not saying this to be the bragging. Reading has been my number one hobby for a very long, long time. I was into a cult. I was into the occult before I was even into African studies. You see what I'm saying? I was reading, you know, and my uncles and them, they was conscious. And when I started to grow, where well, I was able to go to their house and then I was able to see the other books that they had. You know, and I remember I went to my, my uncle uh, Rashid. You know what I'm saying? He was a Muslim, you know, and he was the first brother that I seen that had what, quote unquote, what y'all would call a conscious library. And so, you know, I was looking, I, you know, I seen, the, uh, it was called the six and seven books of Moses. I say, man, I ain't never known no goddamn Moses had no six and seven books. You know, I'm thinking to myself, how this nigga get a hold of this? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, man, Rashid, the truth. You see what I'm saying? And so, you know, when I opened it, right, I'm not, a, and I'm not, you know, I'm still, you know, I know what I know, you know, and so when I looked at it, I say, damn, I seen all these diagrams in it, you know, and I just flipped through and it was just a bunch of diagrams and it had, you know, names either in the diagram and, you know, and it had like, like incantations in the motherfucker at the bottom of the diagram. And so when I looked at it, I, I saw names and shit like, you know, uh, that they was invoking. And so I seen some, you know, some 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 names out the Bible and shit. Right. And then I even seen angels and shit. And then I seen demons. I say, wait a minute. I say, what the fuck is this, man? And so when I seen the names of demons in that shit. You know, I just put that because I, like I said, I had been into the cult and I, you know, I had read the stories about all type of shit in the cult, whether it was witches, whether it was demons, all type of boogeymen and, you know, all type of monsters and all. T I used to read all that shit. And so when I seen them damn demons names in the book, I say, man, what the fuck is this? Moses fucking with demons and shit. You know what I'm saying? Solomon fucking with demons and shit. And so I put that shit down. I, I uh-uh, uh-uh. And so, you know, people got to know when you dealing with Kabbalah, do not let them fool you. If you ask the real Kabbalists, they'll let you know. They ain't going to hide the fact. Ask them. Say, do you con? Because Solomon conjured demons. They know that. That's what, you know, God gave Solomon a ring. You feel me? And with that ring, he was able to control, I believe, 72 demons. You see what I'm saying? He was able to control the demons. All you had to do was know the words and shit. You know, know their name. You understand the incantation? And I say, you know what? These motherfuckers is conjuring demons. They even believe that they could control God that they know the name of God, that they can even make God bow to their will. Ask them. I say, okay. Okay. And so he, 
you know, from what they saying, LeBron been messing with this this guy for almost 10 years now. You see what I'm saying? This, they've been, you know, he been messing with this guy. Do I got some information? Do I, do I got some information on this guy? I don't know if I got some information on this guy or not, but, uh, you know, I see the pictures of him. You see, and I believe he, he, he was out of Morocco. You see what I'm saying? I believe he was out of Morocco. You see, and so you see him right there. So I'm quite sure when you see him, like, you know, they know the towel move. You see what I'm saying? They reading the towel move. You understand? Because that's their book. The Kabbalah is there too. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell y'all something. You see, the thing is, and so that y'all know, the Kabbalah is what they had. You see, I don't know. He might have became famous. You don't know because the guy who really introduced him was a guy out of uh, Cincinnati who was also a, a, a Jewish, a big guy down there. I don't know if he owned some clothing shit down there or whatever. You see what I'm saying? But the thing is, see, the thing is, the Kabbalah is what they, that's what they had from the beginning. You see what I'm saying? That's what they had from, they didn't have the, uh, today what you call the Jewish names in there. You see, that's some shit that been intertwined much later. They were already into that shit over there where they was. That's why, and I'm going to crack heads. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something, and I'm going to get ready to get on up out of here. Because I'm going to come back tomorrow. I ain't. See, that's why, and I'm going to tell you this, and I'm going to leave, and you, you put two and two together. See, that's why when they was over there and that shit was going down in World War II, and they was rounding them up, they rounded up, not not just the Jew, they rounded up blacks, they rounded up the Jew, but they rounded up that gypsy. Okay? They rounded up the gypsy too. You see? They rounded up the gypsy too. And that was, you know, and at the root of that. See, when you look at what the gypsy practice, you see, you see all of the occultism that the gypsy practice. See, that was. The Kabbalism, you see, you see, that's why they rounded them up together because they're very similar. Yes, okay, similar. And so that was the Kabbalism. You see, the occult shit that they had before they had any of that, you see. And so when they got, you know, and they, they know they can't come out front with that. You see what I'm saying? They couldn't come out front with that. And so they, you know, the, the Talmud is the political, the political, the law. You understand how they interpret the law? That's their main book. But behind the veil, when they do what they do, that Kabbalism. You see what I'm saying? That was the root of what was going on before any of that Judaism. You see what I'm saying? Now they didn't intertwine it. So if you want to deal with the other shit, you go into Kabbalism. But for the front and even the even the tile move, they couldn't, you know, the, they so raw with the information, even them early tile moves is very raw. You see what I'm saying? The shit that they say about Gentiles, even Jesus, you know, and I ain't saying nothing to say because they know that. They know what they say about Jesus. They know that the Jews do not have no love for Jesus at all. They do not. They believe he was, uh, 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 you know, blasphemous. You see, he was blasphemous for saying that he was God. So they don't have no love for him. And so in the Talmud, they disrespect him. They disrespect Mary. They disrespect him. You see, and like I say, you could go online right now and pull up videos where Christians, you know, e e uh, what they call them, evangelists, where they go over there and they teach on the street. Man, listen here. Them Jews was about to whoop their ass, about to put hands on them. Like, get this shit up out of here. 
You see what I'm saying? And I'm going to tell you what, and this is in Israel. And they act like somebody, you know, and, you know, and that, you know, somebody, you know, and, 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 and he was a white man. He was a Christian. You understand what I'm saying? And he was teaching and, you know, what it is. So when they went to, you know, they was about to put hands on him, but the Jew, the Israel, Israeli police came to protect him. You see, and they looked like they weren't going to protect him for long. They basically said, look here, take this shit on. Get your ass up out of here because I'm leaving. And so when I leave, your ass better be going in this direction. Because they was, you know, they had their little cameras up there, you know, like they was recording. Man, them Israelis was slapping their cameras and shit, looking, slapping their ass damn near, you know, going outside. And, and you know, and so when the, uh, the, uh, the, the, uh, the guy that was from America who was a Christian, he was talking to the Jews. They had crowded around him and, you know, and the guy who had the camera. And he say, man, in America, we can we can teach. We can do this. You know what they Israeli said? You ain't in America. <laughs> you ain't in America. That's exact. I'll pull the shit up. He said, you are not in America. This is our land. You see? And so no, nobody put that shit up and show how racist they is. You see what I'm saying to people, you know, and then you got to, you know, you know, you got to, uh, the Ethiopians over there and, you know, you know, the Africans that's, you know, and they deport and, and even the so-called, you know, the Israelites and the Jew, the so-called Ethiopian Jews, you know, who they brought over there. You understand what I'm saying? Whatever, you know, operation that was, they brought them, but they deporting their ass. They over there treating them like shit. You see what I'm saying? And so, man, listen here, family. Listen here. And so I see LeBron up there, and LeBron, man, you, I don't, nigga, you ain't nothing to me. Straight up. I don't care nothing about none of you back. You know, I, 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 you know, I, I like Kyrie. You know, I like, I, I, I like Kyrie because I, I like his spirit. You know what I'm saying? I do. I like his spirit. You know what I'm saying? I, he ain't gonna let motherfuckers. Uh, uh, they say my comment keep getting censored. <laughs> hey, shit, I ain't nothing I could. I ain't censoring the motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You can say what you fuck you want to say, bro. You know what I'm saying? You know. But anyway. You know, family, uh, believe me, you know, I'm 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 tightening shit up. I'm I'm not going nowhere. I'm gonna be right black tomorrow. I'm gonna be right black tomorrow. I'm gonna have more receipts for y'all. You understand? Stay with me. Click that link. Uh Sunday. I'm gonna give y'all a full presentation on where to crack them. I'm gonna be digging in these scrolls to get y'all all the so if y'all want the references, you want a complete package on how to you know, to to de debate and destroy anybody that's going against the African origins of any of that. Please be in there Sunday because I want to give you the information. I want to give you the information. Be in the house to get it. Link is right there. General SETI, uh, dot ticket leap dot com. General SETI dot lick, uh, dot ticket leap dot com you you can go there or you can click that link and you can see all the upcoming lectures from the general i'll see y'all tomorrow family this is the general sarasu and said he's saying hey arm yourself with knowledge bang on that wicked ass beast daily liberation through african education and confrontation black power